Here's a huge story the media isn't telling you. The British woman arrested this week for her social media post was first identified by a state-backed artificial intelligence firm called Logically, putting a very clear target on her back. The company boasts how it provides clients with, quote, actionable intelligence, so let's take a quick look at the shady firm. Logically was paid more than $1.5 million by the UK government's counter-disinformation unit to monitor and analyze anti-lockdown and anti-vaccine posts on social media. And its main customers just so happen to be, quote, the British, American, and Indian governments. That's according to Logically CEO Lyric Jane. The company essentially operates as a giant social media vacuum, sucking up, quote, all public posts on major social media platforms and information from over 300,000 media sources. That's according to the company's own literature. They then apply artificial intelligence to identify posts that are, quote, potentially problematic. Logically is also a member of the censorship cartel called the International Fact-Checking Network, or IFCN, a Western government and billionaire foundation-backed network whose members are given exclusive status with IFCN funders like Facebook and Google. While Logically claims that it has no say in the removal of content from social media platforms, working with IFCN members, Facebook censors, and Google deranks posts deemed misinformation. It's not uncommon to see Logically's fact checks cited on content slapped with a warning on Facebook. As the IFCN notes, being a signatory of the organization is a requirement to gain access to Facebook's fact checking tools. Google also offers the courtesy of promoting IFCN fact checks in its search index. But for 55-year-old mother of three Bonnie Spofforth, censorship or deranking wasn't enough. Today she sits in jail after she posted a false name of the suspect behind the mass stabbing at a children's dance studio. The name she posted doesn't seem to actually belong to anyone, and she even wrote the caveat, if this is true. She has since said that she copy and pasted the name after she saw it elsewhere. If Logically is indeed analyzing all public social media posts, they should probably know this. So in essence, we have a state-backed private surveillance firm whose job was supposed to be censorship, now clearing the path for the government to criminally prosecute speech crimes. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.